This is the taste. This is the test. Call this Pepsi the new Pepsi, 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 Pepsi challenge. Pepsi versus honey. Definitely tastes like honey with a little bit of that sweet Pepsi kick right at the end. It does have a little Pepsi kick to it. It's more honey than Pepsi. That's for sure. That as you say it, I guess I could go with it. If you put it in my mind, I think I can taste it. You can tell that Pepsi syrup making it dark. This dark brown honey made by bees in Craven County has people buzzing. I don't know, but it'd be really good on a biscuit. So how did this all come about? We own all of the newspapers from the Sun Journal from around 1899 to 1986. Pepsi enthusiast Jerry Avery was doing some research and he noticed a small blurb. In July of 1905. About bees getting into Caleb Bradham's new Pepsi bottling plant. And getting into the syrup vat and then going back and making honey with that. It actually tasted like Pepsi Cola. They did an article on it and they talked about how good it tasted. And when Jerry rediscovered this article, he was inspired to try and recreate the phenomenon. We took a hive of bees, gave them Pepsi syrup to feed off of. We were able to recreate what had happened in 1905. It takes about 16 weeks for the bees to do their work. My concern was for the bees. And Jerry wants to make sure the insects don't get diabetes. They're taking the syrup, but when they're done with it, I think they've actually made it healthier. But Jerry says don't expect it to taste exactly like a freshly poured Pepsi. Definitely tastes like honey. It has a very heavy, very dense flavor. Uh, when you first put it on your tongue, it tastes like honey. But about 10 or 15 seconds in, you can really taste the cola. Yeah, definitely Pepsi aftertaste. And Jerry likes the interest in what he now calls Caleb Bradham's 1905 Old Time Honey. I like to see people smile. I like to see people laugh. Uh, if this brings a little joy to the world, then so be it. Even if it's not a 100% taste success rate. It's got a weird taste to it, I'm sorry. Jerry thinks more people will be up to the challenge. Well, we won one in the past. I don't see why we couldn't do it again. Hey, if you're interested in trying Caleb Bradham's Old Time Honey, Jerry has about 300 jars left from his latest batch. The money generated will go towards Bradham's legacy in the Pepsi Museum that is being planned to be built in New Bern in the coming years. We have Jerry's contact information on our website, WCTI12.com, and also on my Facebook page. I'm Brian North for News 12.